We're in the beautiful Shamai Gallery out on Highway 100 looking at the work of some fantastic Tennessee arts and crafts persons. Terry Aliyah is with us from Tennessee Craft, and we are getting a preview of the incredible Tennessee Craft Fair that's coming this weekend to Centennial Park. It's an event that we look forward to all year long. Of course, it's Mother's Day weekend, and we all want to pick out something special, something handmade for our mom. Yeah, or for ourselves. Oh, of course. Yeah, let's talk about some of the things that uh, are on display here at the gallery. So many of these artists are of such high caliber that they're on display in galleries all across the country. They really are, and this is a really good example of them. They, this gallery carries a lot of Tennessee artists. Um, Matt Estrada here used to make houses, now he makes bird houses. He used to be an architect. We have turned wood here. here. Mark, Mike Zinser is always in our demo tent, turning wood, showing how to do it. That's so cute. That's a biscuit cutter. I love it. It's beautiful. We also have beautiful clay by Becca Gannick, and she's going to be in our kids' tent showing kids how to make craft. Uh, we have some beautiful handmade scarves here, and this is one of my favorite, Teresa Hayes. We also love Lisa Morgan. Oh, I want this one. Those are gorgeous. Yes. It's beautiful. Everybody loves clay. We have Marissa Tobler up here in the front. Her work is very distinctive. It's a beautiful plate, isn't it? I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. And then we also have turned wood by Rick Murray in the northeast part of the state. Oil lamps, gorgeous. You can find anything that you want here at this fair. It's all high quality. And so all the artists that we're seeing here at Shemai Gallery are also going to be on display um, this weekend at on Craft this Fair. Table. This, mm -hmm. this gallery carries lots and lots of Tennessee artists, and we focused on the ones that will show up at our fair. Art doesn't have to just be decorative, it can also be functional like these lamps. Absolutely. That's Linda Hobdy, part of the Twisted Sisters. We all love her. She's at most of our fairs. She also makes jewelry. More Marissa Tobler over there, the gorgeous distinctive ceramics. And then we have Donna Rizzo, who often does figurative work. She used to be a dancer, so she knows the body. And she is a hoot. If you go to her, if you go to her booth, you're going to love talking yeah, to her. Yeah, she's always really fun. She is. And then we have Lisa Kelly here, who does these acrylics and graphite paintings. She moves the paint around with her hands. She uses pencil. It's something she's come to recently, and she's really a wonderful artist. You'll want to meet her, too. I understand that you can hang those in four different ways, too. So however the piece speaks to you, Absolutely. you can hang it. Absolutely. It's abstract, so she's um, made it... Uh, easy to turn around and you can pick it one, you can pick three, you can pick four, pick, a, pick a, a group and make it your own. I love the stained glass on display here too and that's always one of the fun things to see at the craft fair. We have a, a lot of choices and this particular one is Tammy O'Connor. She does beautiful work, she mixes it up with different kinds of glass and she does some botanical prints on the, on the glass. Come and see her and meet her and her husband, they're really wonderful people. Well, thanks again to Shamai Gallery for letting us preview the craft fair. This is a great little gallery, but you'll see so much more at the craft fair this weekend at Centennial Park. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's all free, and parking is going to be great, too. Absolutely. It's free, and it's at the HCA parking, and we have a shuttle making 15-minute uh, rounds all day Saturday and Sunday. Friday's usually easier. The neat thing is, too, you can preview the art online. How do we do that? Absolutely. Go to our website, find the fair page, and find the map. If you click on the map, you get a preview uh, artwork images of all the artists. That's great. So you can pick out what you want ahead of time. You can plan ahead or you can shop afterwards. If you don't make it on a, if you mean to buy something and you want to buy something afterwards, you can link through. All right. All you have to do is go to TennesseeCraft.org. Terry, thank you so much and I hope the fair is a big success. It's going to be great. Thank you so much. And I think you need to buy this scarf. The tag's still on it. Might want to go back in. I will. <laughs>